Finally, um, the race here in Baltimore, this 2020 election race has really been heating up. It's really been heating up. Uh, Today, T.J. Smith, the former Baltimore police spokesman, announced that he is entering the Baltimore City mayoral race. So um, he's one of the big dogs in the race now. Uh, He's one of the trifecta, as I call them, the big names in the race. But there are a lot of people in this race. This race could go any way. Don't know which way it's going to go. But uh, Smith did this in a very, um, very impactful way. He was joined by family members of murdered victims. And the backdrop of this announcement was the house where his own brother was killed back in 2017. So that, and that, that's at uh, West Lafayette um, and Argyle Avenue. Um, he also began reading the names of Baltimore homicide victims. As I said, very impactful, very emotional. Uh, and uh, T.J. Smith's brother, Dion. Uh, took his last breaths just in the backdrop. Um, Many people know I lost my sister last year. And some, I I mean, the the hospice where she passed, I don't don't think that I could do a uh, press conference with that place in the background. Um, So the the strength of uh, of T.J. Smith, and, and my sister did not, die um uh, she was not homicide uh a victim she passed from breast cancer but uh, i'm just saying how e- emotional that would be for me so i definitely commend uh, tj smith just for having the strength uh to do that and um you know just like i said just thinking about it it's uh it, it's it's difficult uh so uh, his words were this and for Dion smith my brother who took his last breaths of life in this city just over my shoulder. For those moments in life that they never get to see, for each of you who remain struggling to pick up the pieces of a shattered life, hardening your resolve, standing strong for those around you, for all of you, for your families, and for the great city we love, I'm announcing my candidacy for mayor, Smith said. Uh, so um, he did it. it did a uh, interview with C4, and uh, he told C4 that it was difficult for him to hide his emotions, and um, he's running to better his hometown of Baltimore. So uh, as I said, he's he's jumping in his race, which was already a crowded race. We already have confusion in City Hall. We already have the president of the city council and the current mayor both running for the same seat. If you don't, if that's not division right there, I don't know what is. But I I frequently have said this, this race, the most important race, we have young versus old. The old guard is trying to to, to hang on to power, and the new guard is knocking on the door. This city definitely needs some change. If you look at how things have been going here in Baltimore City, it is time for a change. But who's going to bring that change? Who's going to bring that change? We may even see another big name jump in the race. Um, a, a former mayor, Sheila Dixon, she may jump in the race. We don't know because the deadline has not hit. So I, I'm expecting more people to jump in the race. The deadline for joining the primary is January 24th. No telling who's going to jump in the race at this point. So Smith's campaign runs with the slogan of Think Different. And he's trying to appeal to uh, voters who are tired of repeat scandals in city government and increased violence, right? So the repeat scandals means that we have to have a new crop of people, right? Bare minimum, 
the same cabal of people can't give us different results. But it's deeper than that. The system is set up a certain way. So you can almost plug and play people and we still get the same results, right? So we need, a, we need an overhaul of this system here in the city. But time is going to tell who exactly is going to be in this race. But as I said, the big dogs in the race, and, and there are many people in the race. So I, I don't want to diminish any of the lesser known candidates because one of them could just swoop in. You don't know. Now, Jack Young did not have any comment about um, T.J. Smith jumping in the race. Brandon Scott said he welcomes Smith to the race. And uh, Smith, who grew up in northwest Baltimore, is uh, very accomplished. He has uh, two master's degree degrees, uh, one in management and leaders from Hopkins, and one in strategic communications from Washington State University. So um, I'm looking forward to reading up more on T.J. Smith's platform, what he plans to bring. I've met him on several occasions. Definitely a good guy. Definitely somebody that has Baltimore City's best interest in heart and definitely somebody who's capable of doing the job. So uh, I definitely encourage people. This is the most important election of your lifetime. In this time of great peril, great division, great uh, emotions, but this is the best opportunity to bring change. So it's a great, it's a time of excitement as well. It's not all bad because this could be the turning point for the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show, at Radio on Fire. Of course, for any booking information, K at gmail.com. Past episodes of the show, radioonfire.com slash Diamond K. And I'm here live weekdays, 4 p.m., radioonfire.com. I will see you guys tomorrow.